everyone and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I am so sorry that it's been so long since my last video. Um, I don't really know what's happened, I seem to have been so busy and lost track of time with it, but hopefully I'll be getting back into more regular filming now. Um, today I thought I'd share my August favourite. Um, I've got a few little bits to go through, so let's get started. First of all, as I'm clearly still in summer mode, um, I've discovered this amazing, amazing sun cream. It's probably a little bit late to tell you about it now, as the summer's nearly over. Um, but to be honest, I'm going on holiday in a few weeks, so I'm definitely taking this with me. Um, it is the Freezy Derm Sun Cream, and it's, it says New Velvet Technology, and it's called Second Skin. It comes in this crazy looking tube here, kind of looks like a syringe. Basically, and you pump it out, Ooh, it's not open, there we are. It's this weird like yellow gel, but when you, um, when you blend it into your skin, it feels exactly like a primer that you put on your face. It just feels incredibly smooth. It just doesn't feel greasy at all. Oh my god, it feels amazing on skin. It doesn't feel like any sun cream I've ever used. And then, see, it's already gone in completely. I'd be happy to put that on my face and now apply makeup. Like, it's that amazing. Not only does it leave your skin feel incredibly smooth, but it's also SPF 50, so it's really, really high protection for your skin. Um, it protects against UVA and B, um, and yeah, just really, really love this, and can't wait to go on holiday now. <laughs> it's the Janjir, I think that's how you say it. It's a body scrub, essentially. Now this is a Thai-inspired um, brand. Let's open it. It just smells incredible, this, I absolutely love it. See, it's got lime and ginger in it, which initially doesn't really take my fancy. I love citrusy scents, but combination of lime and ginger doesn't sound that great to me. But honestly, this is incredible. I don't know if you can see it properly. But essentially, it's a milky kind of sugar scrub. It just completely takes you back to a spa. I just grab a little bit in my shower and massage my legs. And my um, legs just feel so smooth after using it. Um, I think it's got almond oil in as well. So after you've used it and exfoliated all the dead skin cells off, it kind of leaves your skin feeling really, really smooth, but not greasy, which I love. So yeah, I definitely recommend that one. Um, next up, while we're still on body, I tried this amazing, amazing tan. Um, you've probably seen it on my Instagram already, but I'm obsessed. Um, to be honest, I've never actually tried this brand before. Um, it's a new one for me, but this is the Everyday Gradual Tanning Foam Body Moisturiser. What's really strange about it is it's the completely clear, so when you pump it out, you can't really see where you're applying it, um, which Maybe a little bit tricky as there's no guide colour, but it smells incredible and it left me with no streaks whatsoever. So, yeah. It also says that 25% of the price of this product goes to Marie Curie, which is a charity that supports people with um, terminal illnesses. So, yeah, I think that's a really nice touch as well. The brand's from Australia and it also has a, kind of the cocoa. Is it cocoa butter? Yeah, it's a cocoa butter scent, but it smells really like chocolate. It's really nice. <laughs> so I'll definitely be using this after my holiday to maintain my hopefully natural tan. Next up, we've got some makeup. Um, to be honest, I've tried loads of amazing pieces of makeup this month, um, but I just thought I'd show you a couple of pieces that really stood out to me. Um, first of all, it's the MUA Luxe Collection. Um, you've probably heard of this brand or seen them around in Superdrug. Um, they're known for being incredibly cheap, actually, they're really affordable and there was a massive hype on them online maybe a year or two ago but they've, I think they've recently launched this Lux collection and it's incredible. This palette is an eyeshadow palette and it's just the most beautiful shades. It kind of looks like waves in the sand, I think. It's a really nice summer. Um, I also have been using it as a bit of highlighter as well. I don't think it's made for that but because there's a few shimmery tones in there just gives a really beautiful, natural looking bronzed kind of effect. Yeah, I absolutely love this. They've also got an amazing um, eyebrow gel kind of product and a few other lip products as well, which I love. So yeah, definitely head to Superdrug and have a look at the new range. Next up in terms of makeup is Ciate. Um, I know this brand normally from their amazing nail polishes, um, but I was kindly sent a couple of their lip products as well. Um, I didn't even know they did makeup other than nail colours, so I was really excited to try these. Um, again, you've probably seen these on my Instagram already, but I just love the packaging. I don't know if you can see this properly from here, but they've got the most beautiful like lip print on it, and it's mirrored as well, which makes it a little bit hard to photograph, but nevertheless. Um, the one I'm wearing today is the darker one here. It's called Pretty Sticks Boho. 
and as you can see it looks really really dark there it looks darker than it does on my lips i reckon they're incredibly hydrating though and as you can see the color is quite it's quite powerful still i'll show you the other one as well i've also got pretty sick ooh, pretty sticks sweetheart which is kind of a just like a pale pink um, it's almost like a satiny rose ballet kind of shade, I'd say. Um, it's really good for every day, that one. It's really pretty. What's nice about these two is the colour is really impressive. They're really, really hydrating, so you don't need a lip balm with them at all. And they stay in place for quite a few hours, so yeah, I love these. Next up, we have a makeup brush, which I have really, really been loving this month. Um, and it's the, the multitasking brush um, from the Look Good, Feel Better brand, I don't know if you can see it properly there, ooh, um, as, you can say, ooh, as you can tell from the name you can use it pretty much as anything, um, I've been using it at a bit of bronzer and blusher, obviously washing it between, um, but to be honest you could definitely use it for foundation as well, it has really soft bristles, um, they're completely synthetic so therefore the brand is completely vegan and cruelty free which I love. And obviously, I don't know if you know about the Look Good, Feel Better campaign, but it's all to do with helping women with cancer, making themselves, as you can tell, look and feel better about themselves. So it's a really, really good cause and it's a great brush. <laughs> Next up, we have a non-beauty item. It is a new bag that I picked up in the sale earlier this month. It is this gorgeous little Kate Spade bag. I am so obsessed with Kate Spade, it's unreal. Um, when I go in the shop, I quite literally want to buy everything from their jewellery, their little accessories, to their most incredible bags. And yeah, this one was shouting out to me. It was the only one left in the shop in Westfield and I kind of had to have it. It's kind of got a faux croc effect finish on it. I don't know if you can see it properly. It focus. Um, and then two zips at the top that go out like this. The only annoying thing is it doesn't open as fully as I'd like it to. Kind of opens like that so it's a little bit awkward getting your things out and there's no pockets inside as well so if you have like a lipstick or change or something that's loose it will be flying about it a bit um having said that it's so small it doesn't really go that far i guess inside it's got a really pretty lining as well it's kind of gold and um, polka dots inside as well i think it's really sweet it's got an over the shoulder strap so it kind of comes up to here on me yeah, I'm not sure if they still have them in store, but definitely have a look online if not. Um, I'll try and link it below if I can find it. So my last favourite of the month is actually a dress. Um, and it's this beautiful red dress here. I don't know if you can see it properly. So it's got like a crew neck and a little bit of um, detailing on one shoulder and not the other. So it's plain. And it's just a beautiful fitted um, dress. It kind of comes just below my knees. Actually, in fact, I'll go and put it on now because you can't really see it from here at all. <laughs> um, it's good for kind of an evening with a pair of heels or even a work outfit. I think it's just really, really flattering. Um, as you can see, it's really fitted around my hips especially, um, but a little bit more forgiving around the waist. Um, the dress is beautifully made and it's got a gold zip down the back, um, which makes it easy to get in and out of without ruining your hair and makeup. Anyway, that's the end of my favourites for this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and hope you've got a few ideas of maybe some things that you'd like to pick up. Let me know if there's anything in particular you would like me to film next and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. See you soon!